Hardwood furniture and cabinets are luxurious and functional. They are pleasing in appearance and resilient to years of abuse. Unfortunately, hardwood furniture is also very expensive. As a result, many cabinets and shelves today are made from particle board, which is a much cheaper alternative to using hardwood. Particle board is a composite of wood chips, shavings, and sawdust mixed with resin, which has been pressed together and extruded to form sheets. In the case of cabinets and shelves, the particle board is wrapped in a veneer, or finished sheet, of anything from paper to thin sheets of oak or maple. This process is a cheaper alternative, but creates a product which is easily damaged and will not stand up to abuse as well as hardwood. Often, the particle board will split or pull apart, rendering the furniture useless. Don't throw it away. Repair it with Arts 401 FlexTech HV Epoxy Repair System. The first step in the cabinet repair is to mix and apply the primatrate. This bonding agent penetrates the wood fibers and creates a strong bond between the flex tech and the wood. Mix two parts A with one part B and apply it to the repair area using a brush. The next step is to dispense and mix the flex tech until you achieve a uniform color. A plastic cutting board makes a great place to mix and is easy to hold with one hand as you mix with the other. Once the epoxy is thoroughly mixed, apply it to the repair area. Press the two pieces of the repair together and scrape off any excess epoxy. Allow the repair to cure for at least 24 hours at at least 60 degrees, and your cabinet is ready to display for years to come. Arts FlexTech Epoxy Repair System may also be used to fill large holes left in particle board cabinets or bookshelves. Once again, mix and apply the primatrate. Allow it to set 10 minutes and wipe off any excess. Next, you may dispense and mix the epoxy. For applications where the cabinet will not be painted, you may tint the epoxy to match the color of the shelves you are repairing. Art has available dry powder pigment, which you may sprinkle over the epoxy and mix until you have reached the desired color. Apply the epoxy to the repair and work it into the hole, being sure to fill all the edges of the repair. Finally, screed off the surface of the repair to create a smooth finish. Now is also a good time to touch up any smaller nicks in the wood or screw holes left from prior applications.
As before, allow the repair to cure overnight, and your bookcase is ready to hold your new fiction novels until they become classic tales. Another area prone to particle board cabinet damage is the kitchen. Years of opening and closing drawers and slamming cabinet doors and a fury to create delicious meals leads to serious wear and tear on the particle board. This wastebasket drawer has pulled apart at the top where a child safety lock had been installed. To completely replace the drawer face would mean searching for a matching piece or having one custom made. The first option is not guaranteed, and the second option could be very costly. FlexTech will bond the two pieces of this drawer face back together in less time than it would take to find a replacement and at a fraction of the cost. Again, the first step is to mix and brush on the primitrate to both sides of the repair. Next, dispense, mix, and apply the FlexTech. Press the two pieces together and finish off the edges of the repair. Fill any large holes intended for other applications, in this case a space for unused hardware. Once you are satisfied, allow the repair to cure for at least 24 hours, at at least 60 degrees. Now you may sand the drawer face to prepare it for priming and painting. Wipe off any loose dust and you may begin to paint with any latex-based paint or primer. Allow the paint to dry and you have a fully refurbished kitchen drawer which matches the rest of your cabinets and will help you create those culinary masterpieces.